Hi YouTube. Um, do you guys ever feel like you get in such a hurry because you know you're going to be gone or don't know what is going to happen and you make a card and you think, why did I make that card for my husband? Now the card with the um, ice cream cone is really cute, but I don't think you do cute for your husband. <laughs> So, I'm going to redo his card. And I have the same paper from the Basic Manila um, stack. But I'm going to use my stamp abilities. Um, it's just a distressed, ugh, distressed background with the chestnut uh, color box chalk ink. And I'm going to put this on there and I'm still going to use some of that plaid in that ribbon I'm not using the same happy birthday I don't know what I was thinking um, I, well, I guess I used the same happy birthday on my mother-in-law's card but we're going to use this one right at the bottom And I had to stop and rethink what I wanted to do. And I am going to put, I'm going to use, I'll show you the stamps I'm going to use. How about, I'm going to show you the stamps I'm going to use. I stopped and rethought what I wanted to do. I'm going to use a wish. And this is from Michaels. These are all from Michaels. I might have got this one at. Joann's. I'm going to use the Create from this. I'm going to tape this off and put this on the inside saying I'm sorry I missed your birthday. And then I'm going to use the Meyer Rhodes um, eh, measuring tape stamp. And then I'm going to use the A from this set that I got at Hobby Lobby a long time ago. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp um, right here the with the chalk ink. And I hope that... the numbers and everything get on there right. Yay! And then I'm going to use the same block here and I've already got this figured out basically where I want it. So, I'm going to get those two on the block. And we're going to go ahead and stamp them on this page. And then I'm going to add uh, the A for a. Uh. Oh no, I hope I didn't move that. And then I'm going to use just the A. And I'm just going to eyeball this. Cut it down to the size I want. And it is... three and a quarter by one and three quarters and this background is from Cosmo Cricut um, what is it the nutmeg um, pack 
and it is measuring at four inches by two inches and I cut my strips and these are from Hobby Lobby I'm going to use the medium pop dot size on the back of the wood grain paper I'm going to go ahead and might as well cut this in half and get rid of this and then I'm going to use the small pop dots that you get from Hobby Lobby on the next do on this layer and I cut those down and I know I'm working off camera putting these on but I'm pretty sure everybody has seen these we put on I gotta get into that other movie program and figure out how to ah, fast forward through some of this I'm not good with programs in that and everybody I said that I said something about taking a class and they're like ah those are a waste of time they're too basic I don't know if anybody's got any suggestions let me know it's kind of stormy here tonight in southeast Iowa And put that there. And I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Oop. And then I'll secure the ribbon to the back. I'm still going to use that ribbon. I saved it from the other card that I screwed up on. I just don't know what I was thinking. Well, I, the whole time I was thinking, huh? I don't know about this card. I probably should have done that. Stamping in the blue. But I don't have a blue that is right, so I'm going to get some this weekend. And I got my tape here. music on in the background tonight Let's see if that's even I think that's pretty good and here is the new card base I hope I have a feeling I'm going to go over time and I can never edit things right do, do, do. okay so there's the new one I don't know if that's any better but it's better than the stupid ice cream cone. So have a great day.